After Trevor Vanished by Robert P. O'Tone Deirdre and Drew needed to escape the city. They had spent the summer working, Drew teaching summer school in Queens at a facility for special needs children, and Deirdre, who skipped teaching this summer to help her younger sister Audrey execute her wedding, were both in desperate need of some rest and relaxation. Remember when the DJ pressed a button on his MacBook Pro and transitioned from blue to what does the fox say? Masterful work, no, Drew asked, steering down the back roads to the lake. Which wedding was that? Deirdre asked, genuinely unsure. He shrugged. All of them? They shared a laugh. Some time at her family's lake house would do them some good, even if Deirdre hadn't been there since the accident. Don't be so nervous, kid. This'll be fun, Drew said, eyes on the road. Did I just miss the turnoff? Hey, you remember fun, don't you? She rolled her eyes. Drew's weak attempt to get her to lighten up only made her tense further, but she forced a smile anyway. Stress from work, stress on the two of them. Fun was a luxury she didn't have much stock in lately, even with the diversions of summer weddings, parties, and more. The lake house always was a good time, she offered. I remember in high school just feeling so... She trailed off. Free? Drew offered. As if the natural world didn't matter, that unfettered release. Drew nodded. The good old days. Exactly, she said, thinking back to the sounds of a lakeside summer, splashing, shouting, music blaring from a nearby CD player, waiting all afternoon for the radio station to play her favorite songs. Then she thought of Trevor. His smile. His warmth. The lake claimed a life every year. Deirdre never expected it to happen to her personally, nor did she even believe in the superstitions of the old folks who repeated the story over the years. But when Trevor vanished, she knew some legends just might be true. And to find out if the legend is, in fact, actually true, you will just have to pick up Even in the Grave, edited by Carol Geisander and James Chambers.